In addition to the molding machine, there is often other auxiliary equipment used on and around the molding floor. This is a granulator or scrap grinder. The granulator grinds up scrap plastic, parts and runners, into small pieces called regrind so that it can be molded again. Inside the granulator are high-speed rotating blades which chop up the plastic. You can see why you should not reach into this machine. This is a plastic dryer attached to the hopper. Dryers circulate hot air to dry the plastic before it's molded. This is a mold temperature control unit. It circulates coolant, usually water, through the mold to cool the plastic parts. Now we'll look at what happens during the injection molding cycle. We'll use this drawing so we can see inside the machine and mold. The cycle begins with a screw moving forward, forcing the melted plastic into each mold cavity. The mold cools the plastic parts. While the parts are cooling, the screw rotates. This melts and conveys the plastic ahead of the screw for the next cycle. Now the plastic inside the mold is cool enough to hold its shape, so the mold opens and the parts are ejected. Then the mold is closed and the screw injects melted plastic into the mold for the next cycle.